Over here! Oh, lazy? Oh, let's show him he's lazy, huh? Over here! Keep them busy, Quasi. Shellington, follow me. Shiver me whiskers. These oversized scallywags are faster than I thought. Just about made it through, Captain. That big rock should be far enough outside the hippo's home territory. And that's where we said we'd meet up with Quasi. I've lost my rudder. I can't move. We need a tow line. We're still in hippo territory. I can make one from bandages. Great, but you'd better do it fast. We've got company. <laughs> tow line secure, Captain. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Quasi, do you read? I. Heading for our meeting up place, Captain. Really hope you'll be there. Oh, hope I'll be there. No escape now, yeah? At least maybe you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, matey. <laughs> See you later. Or maybe sooner. <laughs> Better give a full throttle, Captain. Those hippos can move faster than they look. I'm so hot. The hippos have spent too much time in the hot sun. Their skin's all dried out. It looks really uncomfortable. We can't leave them like that. Agreed. Any ideas, Peso? I know a quick and easy remedy for hot, dry skin. Mud! So... Back for more, are you? Hey, want some more of this, do you? Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. Uh, oh. oh, yes, we do. Some very hot and dry hippos. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. Oh, oh lovely mud. Everyone feel better? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the mud. You're welcome, mateys. Now, the next time you see me, don't go chasing me around like that. Sorry, we don't usually like strangers on our turf, but I guess you guys are all right. This side, we have Quick and the Terragup 2. <laughs> and on this side, we have Debbie the Honey Badger. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks for participating! Ah. Right then! Whoever strikes water first is the all-time digging champion of the savannah! Let's get digging! You call that digging? <laughs> Debbie will show you digging! Ah. Ah, that honey badger may be mean, but she sure can dig! Yeah, I can. Now that's how you trick a scurvy honey badger into helping. <laughs> Maybe, but she's still hurt. I'm not sure how much longer her paw can last. The storm tracker just picked up signs of an approaching storm. And sure enough, those clouds are moving in pretty fast. You wanna see fast? Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, does it hurt? No. Yes, it hurts. Don't worry, I'll bandage it right up. There you go. That should help. Feels better already. Oh, just doing my job. No need to thank me. Wasn't going to. Now, out of my way. Debbie's got a digging race to win. Sea Monkey's uncle, it's a tie! Hello, H2O! That underground water must have been under a lot of pressure to spew up like that. Soon we'll have a second watering hole for everyone to drink from. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
No need to panic. We'll keep you safe. And the rain will eventually put out the fire. Oh, but not before it burns up all the grass we eat. First things first, matey. We need to get you all somewhere safe. Good idea, Quasi. And I'll dig a fire break with the Cherigub, too. That'll protect the surrounding grass from getting burned up. Flappity flippers. Now the fire's spreading from the other direction. You'll never be able to dig a fire break big enough in time, Debbie says. So what? We can dig twice as fast together. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go! You need some shut-eye, matey. You've been setting up dozens of those things all over the jungle. Not just setting them up, Quasi. I gotta test them, too. See? My critter recorders catch any noise from nearby critters. Record it and tell me the location. Well done, Tweak. Now I think you better get some rest. But I brought some kelp cakes to roast on the fire. Shut eye first. Your kelp cakes will still be here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, okay. that happened to the ashes from our campfire. They were plundered by a jungle ghost. Oh, me oh my. They were probably eaten up by a hungry critter. A critter who steals kelp cakes and ash? There's something more afoot here, matey. Better sound the octave alert. <laughs> Tweak, report please. Looks like something raided our campsite and ate all our food. And the ashes from our campfire. Flappity flippers. What kind of creature eats ashes? A jungle ghost. I've never heard of a jungle ghost, Quasi. Nor have I heard of a creature that eats ashes. Either way, the jungle is no place to be without food. Hmm. Octo Agent Tracker is stationed near your location. I'll have him deliver fresh supplies. Up to Agent Tracker reporting with replacement supplies. Thanks, Tracker. I can't believe all our supplies went missing. I've been checking my critter recorders to see if they recorded any critters coming through camp, but not a peep. Won't do you any good. Jungle ghosts are as silent as a windless night. Legend has it that they raid shipwrecked pirate campsites in the night and things start to go missing. And then the jungle ghost appears. That sneaky spirit will steal the spots right off a leopard. But uh, Quasi, you can't steal a leopard's spots. It says so right here. I downloaded the training manual onto my Octo Watch, so I don't have to flip through all the pages anymore. <gasps> my critter record is picking up a sound. I didn't hear anything. I told you, matey. That's because jungle ghosts are silent. Okay, it's ready. Oh, maybe I should just stay here. Don't give up, Vem. Tweak will figure something out. Vroom. Hmm. Why walk when you can roll? With this wheel from my gup M, you won't need to walk on your front leg. How's that feel? Weird. Maybe I should just wait until my leg feels better. Uh, not sure that's such a good idea. Maybe it's another recent. No, not a recent. It's definitely a bear, and he looks hungry. Hey, who's been eating all my roots and berries? Oh no, I am doomed. Don't worry, Vim. I'll be right here with you. Vroom. Hmm. 
Well, maybe I'll be okay, as long as the bear doesn't see us. But even from this distance, he might smell us. <clears throat> oh, we've got to get out of here. Oh, you can do it. <clears throat> okay, I'll try. Huh. Oh, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's good, because the hungry-looking bear spotted us. A weasel. Yum! <laughs> Forget roots and berries. You look much tastier. Ah! <laughs> oh dear! To the meadow! <laughs> Hang on, Periwinkle! Uh, hey, snacks! Come back! <laughs> That's it, Ben. You're doing it! Oh, I like fast food, but not that fast. Oh. I can't see them. They're on their way. And fast! Change of plan, Peso. We need to lift off right away. <gasps> Blappity flippers. Is that a bear? <laughs> Come on, Vim. You can do it. You want me to go in bed? Don't worry, Vim. I'm here with you. <clears throat> Oh, my snack is flying away. All right, back to my berries. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Lady. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.